Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be back. If you're new to my channel, my name is Miriam Maulana and welcome to my little world on the internet. If you are an oldie but a goodie, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate all the support that you give me and I appreciate that you're here today. So, can you tell I'm excited? I'm extremely, extremely excited because I have a new series that I've decided to bring to the YouTube channel and it's going to be called the Photo Talk series. <laughs> yeah, so the Frog Talk series. So if you guys don't know, I'm one of the founders of Frog Talk. It's a page. You can check us out on uh, our website, www.frogtalk.com, as well as our Instagram page and uh, Facebook. And we basically talk about natural hair, that is, if you're a full-time hair girl. So reasons for all of this is I think when you return natural for the very first time, it's so, so difficult to find information in just one place. And from how you start till you finish, like I mean, well, you can never really finish, but I mean, from start till, you know, we go on and on as your hair grows longer, length retention, and all of that stuff. So this Pro Talk series that I've decided to bring to my YouTube page is to teach you guys or to bring information about how to take care of your poor type natural hair from your big chop or from the transitioning process. So I'm really hoping that you guys are going to like this series. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Share this video in case you know a sister uh, who's currently struggling with taking care of their natural hair so that they can also get this information. But do subscribe so that every single time that I share a video, and it's going to be every day. <gasps> you believe it? <laughs> Even I can't. But it's going to be every single day for the next coming I mean, live bit, okay? I don't want to put a name to it or a time to it, but I'm going to try my best to bring you guys a video every single day about natural hair that is beginners for talk. So, uh, stay tuned and enjoy this video. Okay, welcome back guys. So, in today's video, we're going to talk about what I am going to call building your hair profile. That is because I have come to the realization that knowing just your hair type or knowing just your hair porosity or your hair texture or just your hair density doesn't really help you you know, build a routine that's going to work for your hair or help you keep your hair healthy. So in today's video, I'm going to tell you guys about all of the important factors in building a hair care routine, right? Or regimen. And that is your hair type, your hair porosity, your hair texture, as well as your hair density. Well, hair density isn't that important, but I still think you, can, you need to know it. Or if you want to know it, then I'll help you guys define that and understand it. So. First and foremost, I would really like for you guys to put down your pitchforks, to put down your uh, knives, your forks, your everything, okay? We are not fighting, we're just having a discussion. And if you do want to have a discussion or leave a comment, then meet me in the comment section, how about that? Okay, I'll be waiting for you all. Um, I believe in, to a level, believe in hair typing. And that is because hair typing is, by definition, classification of hair by its curl type, right? And that's not necessarily to say that there's, that's in fact, it shouldn't be to say that there's bad hair or good hair. It's just to say, what is your curl type like? For starters, when you first go natural, you see a whole lot of people, we, they have 3C or 4A hair, whose hair curls up so well, okay? Like, they need to, they just need to do one simple braid out and then, oh, they have the most amazing braid out you've ever seen. And then there you are with your 4C hair or, you know, the other, the ones that come after 4C that haven't been defined, and your hair just does not bite. I think that knowing that and understanding that your hair might never look like that no matter how much you try or that you need to put more effort into making it look that way goes a long way to helping you love your hair to appreciate that that's what your hair is like the one thing that i do love about natural hair is we are all unique it doesn't matter if we both have 4c hair 4ba 4a 3a 3c whatever type of hair that you've got we all our hair is unique hair type is just classification of your hair by its curl type and this classifications are in four categories that is type one hair type one hair and type one hair straight hair type two hair which is wavy hair type three hair which is curly hair and finally type four hair which is coily or kinky that is not to say that 
tight for hair isn't curly it's just that your curls or coils are so tightly put together that um, they're almost like a spring so if you pull your hair springs back into place just like that and that it takes walls maybe products to really really define what you know your curl pattern as to somebody else who wants their hair which just automatically goes curly so now the second thing that I'm going to discuss today is hair texture Okay, so hair texture is determined by your hair, by the diameter of your hair. So a lot of us think that coarse means you have thin, you have um, thick hair, or that means that if you have fine hair, then your hair is thin. That's not necessarily it. I think that um, research shows that the difference between coarse and thin, and the difference between coarse and fine hair is the hair diameter. So that is how. Uh, big your diameter is or small your diameter is if you have fine hair that means that you have a very small diameter of your hair and what is important about it finding out what your hair texture is it helps you really identify what kind of products to use because you don't want to end up maybe weighing your hair down or uh, over processing your hair if you say if you decide maybe to texture it or color it so if you have fine hair these are the things that you need to think to look into first and foremost um, your hair is easily processable processed easily processed so if let's say you color it's going to be easier for you to color than someone with coarse hair and then the second thing is that your hair is more in need of protein than someone who has coarse hair so as opposed to uh, sticking to hermaculin such as uh, honey if I pronounce that wrong please tell me how to pronounce it I've been trying to pronounce it and I don't know why I didn't ask you know dr. Google but um, next time okay so you need protein more than you need maybe humaculins and um, you need emollients oh wow that word is so big <laughs> so that is the one thing that you really really need in your hair uh, protein will help you strengthen your fine hair as well as help with the structure structure that mother nature maybe didn't give your hair <laughs> so um, that's one thing to know if you have coarse hair your hair is much thicker and much stronger that's not to say that also show that also means that your hair tends to be dry drier than thin hair and that when it when it comes to processing it's going to be more difficult to process so let's say maybe if you go for a coloring process uh, it's going to be very difficult to color it or not very difficult it's just going to take longer than someone with fine hair okay and that your hair needs immaculate such as honey and emollient such as butters and creams more than the fine hair fine hair tends to look dry even though um, at most most of the time it's super moisturized and it weighs it down and it looks limp and it looks uh, fly away so that's how you can differentiate between fine and coarse hair and the third thing that i think is highly important when it comes to figuring out and building a profile for your hair so that you can build a healthy hair care regimen is your hair porosity hair porosity is your hair's your hair's ability to absorb and retain moisture so they are two important obviously there's a middle always guys so they are two important well in my opinion types of porosity there's low porosity hair and high porosity hair if you have low porosity hair it means that your uh, hair cuticle is a flat and which makes it very difficult um, for to very difficult it makes it's almost like difficult non-permeable I think that's the word that you're supposed to use that's that's the correct word like it's very difficult for it to absorb moisture however once it absorbs moisture it also doesn't lose moisture as fast on the other end you have high porosity hair yes please put your virtual hands up if you like me and you have high porosity hair well this isn't virtual but yes me 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 <laughs> if you have high porosity hair it means that your hair cuticle is open and as a result it takes in moisture just as fast as it absorbs moisture just as fast as it loses moisture okay so that means that if you are a low porosity hair person and the high porous or you so if you have highly porous hair or low porous hair your routines are going to be different the way you lock in moisture into your hair is going to be different the products that you use are going to be different you might need to use lighter products than the other or heavier products than the other we are going to go into detail on that in the next video so please don't forget again to subscribe so that you don't miss out on that so um so far we have three things we have your hair type 
um, hair texture and your hair porosity. Loving your hair goes a long way to it growing, okay? So, the next time that you see someone's hair full and all of that, remember there's so much that goes into your hair looking the way that it is. Some things are just genetic. So, hair density is... Hair density goes to how much hair you have per square inch. And an inch is about 2.2 centimeters, if I'm not mistaken. So, if you... <laughs> and if you want to see how much density you have, that is, by dense, I mean... Um, how your hair strands are, are packed up together. Some people's hair isn't all that packed up together and some people's hair is like, you know, those people with a whole lot of hair. <laughs> we need bottles and bottles of shampoo on wash day. Yes. So the difference is, um, or if you want to kind of figure out um, if you have like high density or <laughs> low oh, density. <laughs> okay, if, you're, if you have a lot of hair or you don't have a lot of hair, okay. Um, the way that you can figure that out is by... The most efficient way is to count your hair strands, but guys, anybody got time for that? Counting your hair strands? Uh -uh. <laughs> There's no need for you to be counting your hair strands. Anyway, but if you have the time, okay, you're supposed to count um, how many hair strands you have per square inch, okay, which is about 2.2 centimeters, so it's 2.2 by 2.2 by 2.2 by 2.2 by 2.2 by 2.2 by 2.2 So my camera's hitting cut, cut full, really? Anyways, guys, like I was saying, no one has time to be counting their hair strands, okay? So the other ways that you can find out how much hair you have on your head is by one tying your ponytail and then seeing how thick your ponytail is. That is, of course, if your hair is at the length yet, because sometimes guys natural hair just fights, okay? And then the second way that you can find out is by when your hair is obviously in its natural state, uh, is by seeing is sort of by eyeballing how much of your scalp you can see. If you can see a whole lot of your scalp, that means that your hair isn't all that dense. If you can see some parts of your scalp or if it's, you can see, then that means that you're medium density. And then if you can't see your scalp at all, okay, that means you have a whole lot of hair, okay? That means that your hair is very thick and dense. Um, and those are the one, two, three, four things that you need to build up beneficial hair profile if once you know what your hair type is and you know what kind of products you should use on your hair and i know some people believe that um, knowing your hair type is just a marketing scheme i genuinely don't think so i think that um the way that our hair retains moisture regardless of um regardless of all these other things is really that's it's just starting but anyways guys i genuinely believe that these are the four uh, pillars that you need to building a good hair profile that's going to allow you to really have a regimen that works for your hair that keeps your hair healthy i believe more in healthy hair than i do in long hair and if you get both then oh amazing you know amen to both of best worlds okay so you need to know what your hair type is you need to know what your hair texture is what your porosity is and finally how thick your hair is and because I think that goes to show how much product you're going to need, which product you're going to need, whether or not coconut oil or olive oil or, um, I don't know, a, a moisturizing conditioner or a, a, a protein treatment, which of these things does your hair really need? And all of these pillars help you come to that very conclusion. You know what's going to break your hair and what isn't, what kind of styles would work for you, what are, what, how much manipulation your hair can take. So I really hope that you guys found this video beneficial and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I can't wait to come back to you guys with a second segment of Fro Talk that is Fro talk um about porosity so please guys do subscribe to the channel and like the video and comment below if you have other things that you think people should know remember this is a safe space we're here to educate each other we're here to encourage each other we're here to motivate each other and inspire each other we're not fighting we're talking okay so um thank you so much for tuning in you guys know i love you have an amazing amazing day oh no such thing as good or bad hair. Your hair is beautiful and it may glow and prosper. Okay. Mwah.